Five heavy lights are on my two five left, I can number two following ten being heavier but three mile five. Okay, number two. All right, hello everyone. Uh, Zach here, Real Sim Gear. Today we're going to be reviewing the command mapping process and how to change the functions of any of your devices to control pretty much any function within X Plane. So, assuming that you have successfully installed our plugin and everything is working. Everything should kind of look something like this. Don't mind this data rep tool here on the right. We'll get to that here in a second. But first thing you obviously want to do is make sure that you have everything working the way it should be out of the box. And then we can get to editing the command mapping. So you might be asking, well, why would I want to edit the command mapping file? A popular one is for our audio panels. I heard some people like to bind some of the buttons on our audio panel to maybe pause the simulator. And though I don't have an audio panel with me right now at the moment, we're gonna be using my 430 device and changing some settings with that. So we'll maybe do the pause button, maybe some lights or something along those lines. So. Step one to this is you're gonna to wanna to get the data ref tool. We'll include a link to where to download that in the video description down below. And you're just gonna to wanna to install that, put that in your plugins folder, just like you would any other X-Plane plugin. And you would just open it by going to the data ref tool, view data refs. So let's start off um, by navigating to the command mapping file. So that could be found by going to by going to your Xplane folder, resources, plugins, real sim gear. So you'll see a command mapping folder in there. That's where Xplane's gonna know or get all of its commands from. Um, you'll see all these different ones here. Like we're gonna be using the 430 today. So we're gonna be just focusing on this 430 section here. So you'll see there's kind of two parts to each string here. You'll see, uh, let's find a easy one to explain. So SIM, GPS, G430, and two FPL. So that's gonna be the flight plan button. And then there's an equal sign here and then SIM, GPS, G430, N2, flight plan. Um, this first part of the string, that's gonna be the actual hardware command that's uh, being sent from your device to the computer. Um, so if you've ever used our debugging uh, method by using the Arduino IDE, when you press the flight plan button this is what's going to be up now it is identical because that's just the way it was just the plugin was designed to what the x-plane command is but we can change this second part to be something that is control or a command that is coming from the sim so let's use um the message button that's a good one because i don't really use message that much on my 430 um We'll go ahead and go into the sim and we'll click on the message button and you'll see sim gps g430 and two message that's that's what happens when we click the button now let's say we want to pause the sim so we'll click on p and there's the command from the sim to pause the sim so we'll go ahead and actually copy that and then we'll go back to the command mapping and we'll delete the second half because remember that second half of the string is gonna be what uh, the sim command is. So we'll go ahead and just place the new one, sim operation pause underscore toggle. We'll go ahead and file save that and you can actually do this while X-Plane is still loaded. You'll just want to disable and then re-enable our plugin. Cool. All right, 
So now when we click the message button, it should unpause, which it does. Pause, and you can see the actual command that's coming through now as, uh, as we hit it. So pause, that looks good. Let's go ahead and just disable X camera. Let's do another one. Let's do the landing lights. Okay, and we'll do landing lights for the chapter selection button. So as we hit the, we'll do as chap, the chapter up. So that's gonna be scrolling the, uh, the larger knob, the larger encoder rotary knob uh, on the right side of the 430. That's the one we're working with right here. So as we turn it to the right, we're going to want that to turn on the taxi lights. So you'll see right here, sim lights la landing on. We'll go ahead and copy that. And remember, we're looking for the chapter up in the command INI file. So the chapter up is right here. We'll click on that, landing lights on. Okay, so we're looking for the landing light off command, which is right here. Um, landing light off, we'll copy this and we'll put this into the chapter down button. Landing lights off. We'll click file, we'll do save, and then we'll do plugins, plugin admin, disable, re enable. So now, as we twist that button, it's turning on and off the landing light. And as we hit the message button, it's pausing. So that's a quick and simple tutorial on how to edit your real SIM gear device. Now remember, your it doesn't matter which device you're using this for. So I'm using it for the 430, but if you want to do your G1000 suite to control maybe a 430 or a 530, that's very easy to set up. Follow the same kind of steps that I did here, and you'll be on the right track. If you have any other questions, please feel free to leave a comment in the video down below. Also, feel free to go to our website and ask us a question. Um, you'll see a little blue icon on the bottom right of our website, and you can send us a message, and someone will usually get back to you pretty quickly. My name is Zach from Real Sim Gear. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you.